Hello! Today I have a very special episode of Snack Reviews. I'm reviewing 10 different kinds of Korean dried fish and squid. I've already taken out sample pieces of each variety that I'll try and place them on this plate. The first one I'll try is called Kan Ojinga or dried squid. There's a squid, and that is just pure squid. That's OG dried squid snack. It's kind of tough. So the best way to eat this is by cutting it with scissors, which I did. So I cut off um, a piece, and I also cut off part of the tentacle. Um, yeah. So that just gave me whiplash or a concussion or a TBI. It was very hard to eat. Yesterday, I cut little squares of this and another, um, this kind of squid, which I'll review next, and put them on slices of apple. It was pretty good. The savory and the sweet. So it was a good snack. Next one is called Dried Squid Wild Korea. Hangukseon Ojingo Che. This is much softer. It's good for uh, if your grandma has bad teeth, but she loves dried squid, which is my grandma. Mm -mm -mm. It's sweeter than the plain dried squid. It's kind of red. It's good. Um, next one I'll try is this kind of dried squid. It's called Chipo. Um, sorry, <laughs> And uh, it's dried fillet fish, Vietnam. This one's from Vietnam. Mm, it's a little bit tougher than this, but not as tough as the dried squid. But sweet. The next one, this is also a Chipo. I love the design on it. So it's like the molding of the package that it was put into. Um, I think they like made it really flat and smooth. They flattened it out. And look how fun that is to tear apart. Mm. Has a musky flavor. Like, um, like roasted in an oven mm, but it's like also chewy and it kind of tastes like rubber in your mouth but in a really good way <laughs> okay the next one i'll try is called kon omul prepared fillet fish pudoroen hanip tipo so yeah these are all fillet fish um so i have my piece here i like how shiny it is it makes me feel like I'm eating something artificial and plastic, but like in a really exciting way. Mm. Mm. Good. Not a. It's pretty mild flavor. It doesn't have a ton of bursting flavor, which I like. So. Next one is uh, also the same kind, but it's spicy. It's hot and spicy. Mm. It's not extremely hot and spicy, although if you are sensitive to spicy things, um, it will be spicy for you. <laughs> but I can handle it. Mm. I feel in the back of my throat the spice. There are little sesame seeds on it too. It's a pretty good snack. Next one is called. Jinni. Tam Jinni. Seasoned shredded cuttlefish. Uh, the texture of it is kind of um, flexy. I already pulled out some pieces. So. Mm. It's chewy. Nice, like. 
um, dusting of something on it. Of dust, I don't know. This, um, taking me a long time to chew and I can just chew and chew and chew it in my mouth and then just enjoy it. Chewing, turning around in my mouth, forming a little ball. Anyway. <laughs> This one is called Ojinga Nurungji. Uh, the English translation is prepared squid and then parentheses cheese. Ojinga Nurungji cheese mat. So it's cheese flavored. The ingredients are squid, scorched rice. Nurungji is the scorched rice at the bottom of the rice cooker or the pot when you're cooking rice. And then cheese, starch, glutinous rice powder. Uh, sugar, salt, citric acid, etc. There's also breadcrumbs and food ethanol. Oh, and then the first ingredient is squid, as well as a third to last ingredient. So the third to last ingredient is squid, then wheat, and then the last ingredient is milk. I think this is really cute, this poor squid. It says, I don't know what it says, but he seems distressed. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. I haven't had this kind ever. Mm. It's hard. It's like, um, it's not flexible. It's not, it's just like kind of breaks. It doesn't peel apart or pull apart nicely. There's rice pieces in it, and there's a mild, like, fake cheese <laughs> taste to it. Um, it's weird. It's not my favorite. It is sweet. Like, slightly sweet. Strange. Okay, the next item is called... Nek Pansok Tong Ojinga. Roasted squid of delicate flavor. Soft roasted squid. So again, squid with sugar added to it. Got this piece. Mm, very soft. Mm. Kind of fishy taste to it more. Makes me think of fish more than the other ones I've tried so far interesting the last one is called uh, seasoned shredded cuttlefish so this is a fish apparently where is this okay it looks a lot like this one I ate in the beginning which is pretty red and this one is like a brownish red light red light brown mm. there's a smoky taste I enjoy that smoky flavor from whence do you come smoky flavor cuttlefish sorbitol lactose sugar salt it must be the way that they cooked it Mm. I love that smoky flavor. Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna rank these because they're just dried fish and squid, but I'll give it a shot. So this is a classic. It's very familiar to me. I ate a lot growing up, so that's high up there. This is fun. Like the texture to feel it is fun. Chewing it is fun. Um, what else? This is also classic. And like I said, I can just chew that for hours and hours or at least a long time. Um, I think these look pretty cool. I don't know if I like the, the spicy version or just like the regular version. Mm. I don't think I need the spice. The regular version is cool. It's like, Sweet, mild sweetness. Uh, 
Oh, and like I said about the smokiness, I do enjoy that. Um, this is also a classic. It's an original flavor. But it's just so hard and tough to eat. So it makes me feel like I'm going to lose my molar. And I want to keep my molars as long as I can. Um, let's see, this guy... I don't think this did anything for me. So, not my favorite. I would probably, I'll put this in last place. Because it was strange and I think they tried to make something really unique. Which I can appreciate because I love unique foods. But it, it, this wasn't, it was just, it didn't spark joy for me. Okay. So... This one, it also didn't really spark joy for me. So, put it here. All right. So I will say that I'll put this as my favorite. It's so soft and nice to chew and the design is cool. This might be in second place. Uh, I don't know, these are pretty close together. They're essentially very similar foods, just a different flavor. So I, I guess I like the texture a lot of, of it. And I like this too. I like the texture. It's like, I think I said, it tastes like I'm eating, feels like I'm eating plastic. And I enjoy that feeling. After that, I will say that this comes next, because how can I say no to that? Um, I think I like this spicy snack, and then this, and then this thing. The roasted squid, a delicate flavor which tastes like fish to me. Let me try it one more time. Yeah, not that great. And then this cheese, rice, squid concoction, which was an interesting idea. They didn't quite hit the mark. Okay, now my 6 out of 10 ratings. I will say this is uh, 8.5 out of 10. Give this a 7 out of 10. I'll give these seven and a half. Um, oh, I skipped this one. I don't know, man. This is like an eight and a half or nine. What did I give this? Whatever I said about this one, it's this one's higher. I'll give it a 8.75. <laughs> um, and then this guy, this is a, I'll give this a seven. And then these ones, I will give this at least six and a half. This one gets a four, three and a half, four. And this one gets two, sorry. So there you have it. That is my dry fish slash, slash squid review, fish slash squid. Fish slash squid, fish slash squid, fish slash squid, fish slash squid, or squid flash fish, squid flash fish, no, squid slash fish, squid slash fish, squid slash fish, squid slash fish, squid slash fish. I tried to do it five times fast, as fast as I could. Um, so I love dried squid and fish. My grandma loves it. That's why I got 10 varieties because I love my grandma and I do anything for her, including buy tons of dried squid and fish even though she can't eat it really well because she has bad teeth aka no teeth aka dentures and that's what you do when your 95 year old grandma asks you for squid you get 10. she is a precious one another precious one is this guy who has been this guy he's been sitting so nicely in the sun next to me this whole time and he 
he wanted his time on camera or no he didn't but i wanted to give it to him because he's so cute i love squid i love swimming in the ocean oh looking for squid looking for fish Ooh. okay he's like eyeing the food and he's like i want to eat it okay say bye bye bye